Okay, we have here today an interesting integral from the UNSW integration B from 2020. This was problem five. We have the integral of cosine ln x dx. Okay, I actually just did this problem just a week or so back, but I wanted to do an alternative method suggested in the comments by David Kravitz. He suggested that we do this using the complex method integration. It sounded really interesting, so I wanted to give that a try. So now before we get into cosine ln x, let's just look at the complex definition for cosine x. What we can do is write this as e to the i x plus e to the minus i x all over two. And what we could do is we could plug ln x in here and just try to integrate that. But actually I think it's gonna be a little easier if we do it a different way and we use Euler's formula. So let's just look at Euler's formula really quick. Okay, we have Euler's formula over here to the right. And the thing to notice is we have our cosine x that we want right here. And now if you think of this, kind of in the a plus bi notation, if you think of this as like a plus this being our bi. So if we just take the real part of eix, that's just gonna return the a or just cosine x. But that's what we want, because we just want a complex way to rewrite cosine, not dealing with the ln x yet. So we can use this, so for cosine x, we can express this as the real part of eix. So all I need to do is I want to do the same thing. I want an expression for the cosine of ln x. Well, all I need to do is plug in the ln x here. So this is going to be the same thing as the real part of e i ln x. Okay, now getting back to our integral, let's rewrite this using this here. What I can do is bring the real part in front of the whole integral and just use this. We can write our integral as e i ln x dx. But then from here, I want to actually just rewrite this a little bit. So what I can do is we can actually write this as e ln x all to the i, just with exponent properties. But then this is the same thing as x, so then this is gonna be actually equal to x to the i. But the nice thing about that is i is actually just a constant value. So integrating x to the i, we can actually just use power rule on this. So let's see how this goes. We just need to add one on the power, so we're gonna have x one plus i and write it over one plus i. But then to simplify this, what I can do x to the one plus i, I can rewrite that because we're adding in the exponent, I can write that as x times x to the i. And what I also want to do here is rationalize the denominator. So I can write, I can multiply by one minus i over one minus i. Now, because x is strictly real, I can bring this out here in front. And multiplying this together, we get one minus i squared. But i squared is just minus one. So this is one minus minus one, or just two. So let me just rewrite this with the x in front now. So we have x, real part, and this is just gonna become x to the i times one minus i all over two. Now at this point, it's still not really clear what part of this is real and what part is imaginary, so we still have to do a little more work. But now for this x to the i, I can actually put this back. We just did this thing over here. We can go backwards and we can say x to the i is the same thing as e i ln x. So we'll bring this two out front. Now we have x over two here. Now at this point I can plug in my x to the i, but just notice e i ln x, it's perfectly in this form for Euler's formula. So I can actually rewrite this more and I can actually write this in this form as cosine ln x plus i sine ln x. So what I'll do for x to the i is I'll take it in this form and write it back into our real part. But now from here, I just need to multiply this out times the one minus i over here. So let's rewrite this. Now from here, just a little more simplification to do. Now i times i, this is actually minus one, but minus times minus one, this just becomes a plus and that goes away. But now all I really need to do is rewrite this in our a plus bi notation. So let's just do this. We have our x over two in front, then grouping all of our real terms, we have cosine ln x. This is just sine ln x here. All the imaginary part went away. So we have cosine ln x plus sine ln x. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to factor an i out in front. So we have i sine ln x minus cosine ln x. And then we can look at this as a plus bi, where this is going to be our a, and this is going to be our b. And so taking the real part of that, we're just taking this a part, we get our final solution of just x over 2 cosine ln x plus sine ln x. Put the right number in parentheses add a plus C, and that's it. Okay, there you have it, integrating cosine ln x with the complex method. Thanks, David, for the suggestion, and thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a good day.